This includes sitting in front of your camera and thinking for about 20 minutes, not sure how to go on. <clears throat> what is starting a video? That's correct. Thanks, Alex. I'll take Get On With The Video for 300. Now, I'd like to remind you all that I am in college, and therefore, as a college student, today I'm uh, dining on the traditional fare of the college student, poorly seasoned pasta, and of course, tortilla chips. Mm. It takes a long time to chew that many chips. Alright, so, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm back. I haven't really made a video in a while, uh, and there are a bunch of really bad reasons for that. So, I actually started this video yesterday, and to prove it, here's a clip. And while I do think that my hair did look fantastic in that video, uh, I didn't cover all of the things that I wanted to cover afterwards. I kept thinking of things that I should have mentioned, and I ended up getting cut short in the end, and that kind of contributed to that. Uh, the main point of that video was that uh, I, I kind of want to get back into making videos again. Uh, I know I didn't make a lot of videos, and I don't want that to be a reason for me to not continue to make videos. It's really fun for me to do. It's nice to see my things on the internet and see like people watch them, even though like nobody watches them. And it, it's, it's also nice to just kind of sit in front of a camera and talk to myself for 20 minutes, because I'm that egotistical. I also wanted to say for anybody that cares, um, I'm sorry for posting my school assignments on here. They're kind of fun and informational but I won't be doing that in the future. That's just kind of weird for a channel like this. Unfortunately, to say that I'm going to put out a video every week would be a very empty promise because I can't do that, even though I would love to. So I'm gonna shoot for every other week, as many weeks as I can, but every other week at the least. And I've pretty much just decided to go more quantity over quality. Although, who can deny the quality of pasta and tortilla chips? So, part of the reason that I stopped making videos was that uh, for about a semester there, my life, who am I kidding, a semester and a half, semester and three quarters, I'm still playing, uh, my life was taken over by this little game called League of Legends. Uh, if you know me, you've heard me talk about it, it's pretty much all I talk about. And there is nothing wrong with hopeless, hopeless video game addictions, kids. That aside, I kind of feel like this is something that I should do, but also I, I've been coming home and just like sitting in front of my computer for a long time, and that just kind of makes me seem like I'm some nerd, which I am, uh, but it, it makes me feel like I'm not doing anything productive all day if I'm just sitting at my computer. So I kind of just want to try to mix it up. And hey, maybe someday I'll eat something other than pasta. So the moral of the story is that uh, I'm going to try to put out more videos. A lot of them will probably be by myself. Um, I'd like to get Caleb into some of them or for him to make his own videos again. I don't I don't really know, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I just want to keep putting out videos because this is something that's really fun for me and I really love YouTube and someday I want to go to VidCon and I really need an excuse to do that. It's, it's a new year. Um, my semester is almost over. I've got about a month left, I found out today. So just consider this the beginning of a, a new era of student vlogs videos. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I really don't just want these rambly videos about some topic that I force myself to talk on and I just end up talking about the stupidest stuff for a while, so I'm kind of just going to freeform it. And I don't mean to sound, like, mean or delinquent about this or anything, but I also might start, like, openly stealing things from other, other YouTubers that I like. Like, not what they talk about, but, like, their format and maybe their topics a little bit. So that I'm not just, uh talking about things that I'm going to do. Uh, I'll talk about this. Uh, yesterday, I finally got up the will to spend $25 uh, to help fund a Kickstarter that is already way, like, overfunded, but it's still awesome. That's no reason not to, to fund. The Kickstarter, uh, I'll put a link in the description, it's called Story War. It's described as Apples to Apples meets Dungeons and Dragons. This game is pretty much all about having your, your characters fight it out among each other. But instead of, like, battling the numbers, you have to out-argue the other person, and you have to tell a story about the battle that happens, and whoever wins in that story is the winner of the round. And I think that's really great, and I think it's really cool for nerdy, English-loving people like me who like to tell stories, which is part of the reason that I'm making videos again, if you would call this a video. It's fantastic for $25. If you donate $10, you get 
uh, PDF copy of the game. If you donate $25, you get a physical copy, and there's it scales upwards. You get more rewards the more you donate. And it's just, it's it's really awesome. Hank Green talked about it on his uh, Hank Games channel a while back. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to get my hands on this game because it sounds like super fun. And it sounds like just the kind of thing that me and my nerdy friends would like to do. <laughs> because we've kind of, uh, we, we got a little bit tired of being dicks to each other playing Munchkin. All I'm really saying is I... I would highly recommend that you fund this Kickstarter. You get a free copy of the game, which sounds awesome. I, I think it's important to continue to find things like these and uh, contribute, whether it's by money or just kind of like pledging your support or sharing stuff on Facebook so more stuff can, more people can see it. Uh, I've rambled on here for uh, a good chunk of time. Uh, I'm almost out of pasta. Correction, I'm out of pasta. With that, I'm just gonna make this not awkward and say thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time and there will be a next time that actually wasn't bad